The scene is set outside of the Cielo Opera House and Theater where Cesare eats inside his car with Mr. Fitzpatrick after um, yesterday night, well, after tonight evens because it's a continuation scene. He drives uh, towards Miss Breckenridge Heaven. He opens the back door. He goes to the door, he buzz in, Iris bumps the door, move it! Iris exits the haven somewhat awkwardly in another dress shorter than she'd prefer. We have some hunting to do. Hop on. Iris closes the door to her haven Double checks to make sure that it's locked and follows after Cesare. Cesare enters again in the car, starts driving. They go to the residential parts of the area of that city where the Borgia Ghouls Heaven is located. He walks to the apartment, he starts banging the doors and goes like, Shivers! We have job to do! Bring out the guns! Do you need me to wear pants for this one? Probably yes. Hold on, give me a minute. Oh, what did I leave that? Oh, fuck you. Shut your mouth and find my pants. Two minutes. Three minutes. Bring the shotguns. Yep, yep. A couple of minutes later, he comes out uh, carrying a duffel bag. <laughs> He's still buckling his pants, shall we? Yes. Let's go. Uh, he grabs the duffel bag, put it on his uh, on the trunk of the car, and they drive off to the Winecrest Hotel. When they arrive, they see the carcass of a car completely burned down. He pulls. Well, yeah, Which baby doll is here in the parking lot beside it. Also, that thing shining the the, the button. Yep. Baby doll is here. Well, guys, we're going to do this quick and not so clean. Beautiful. Our, yes. What? Maybe, maybe someone in the building knows what room she's in. Yes, that's, that's I'm thinking. going. I said this. We are going to do this quick but not clean. You have already shot a uh, shotgun, Iris, and you, Mr. Fitzpatrick? Uh, yes, four, yes. Um, um, I can. I'm not fantastic with them. Goody! He gets out of the car, pops the trunk, opens the duffel bags, and gives one shotgun to Fitzpatrick, one to Shivers, one to Iris, grab one for himself, and you can see something protuberating from the back of his coat, like something like a handle. Well. Uh, we're just going to be going in there. Shouldn't we be wearing some type of mask? Oh, yes, those things. He turns around, goes back to the car, opens the glove, um, the glove box, brings out some bacla ba balaclava, Word. And he uh, gives one to Fitzpatrick, one to Shivers, one to Iris, and put one on himself. He blows the gun, he goes to the main door, kick it open, and he finds nobody there. Well, this is awkward. Indeed, quite. Um, okay, how should we do this, Shivers? Fucking up with people is your specialty, after all. All right, here's what we do. He points his gun at the ceiling and shoots. A little old man comes from the back room, shivering. He's got a little yellow envelope addressed to Borgia in his hands. He's like, are you, you Borgia? Uh, Cesare, look at the guy go, like, sleep. I'm not even going to roll that. He falls over asleep. <laughs> yep, humans cannot roll against <coughs> um, Dominate. He goes, grabs the envelope, opens it. 
Basically, it's Dory. It's normal bragging with a key card to the room he left Baby Doll in, and a present that he asks Caesar to clean up for him. That's with Baby Doll, and then also mentions how good Baby Doll tasted. I need to roll self control again. <laughs> this is why I hate people fucking up with my characters <laughs> because they they normally have very low self control. And I bought it again. Oh, I hope you have a steak. Um, simply, Cesare, after looking at the the thing, he politely gives the leather to Iris. He just fucking loads the shotgun and starts running with his eyes uh, completely red to the room. When he goes to the door, he doesn't shoot it like a normal crook he will would do. He just kicks the door in with his uh, four strength. He just obliterates the door with a kick and enters the room and he sees um, something that's really awful and Jess will describe for us. A lovely staked Silas of the Ravenos clan on the bed, signs of obvious stereotypical 70s torture methods on him. Baby doll unconscious in a pool of what looks, you can hope and guess, is sweat, tears, and blood around her. You can tell where he, the whoever took her punched the floor beside her and where he bashed her head repeatedly and basically lots of blood gore etc looks more like a slaughter happened in there than just a fight with a kindred and such oh look I rolled correctly baby doll actually is conscious but she's just laying there staring it's safe to say that if Chester looks at the object of his of the cause of his rage he will start to seeing she's alive, to relax a little bit. That's an admin question, Heather. Yes, it would be safe to say that he would relax a little bit. But he's Thank still you. probably very on edge. Oh, yes. And probably someone like a ghoul is going to pay for that. He um, then approaches Baby though He just throws the shotgun away. away. The shotgun falls and shoots himself. Uh, really near Cyrus, he doesn't fucking care, and he just kneels at the side of Babydoll and grabs her and shakes her a little bit. Are you? She she tries to sit up. You you can see where there's a huge wound on her head that's covered in dry blood right now. She goes, "Dios Borgia, he refused to pay." Cesare will sit her down, look at the entrance, shivers. Hmm. Shivers walks in, uh, seeing the tortured body of the vampire there, he, uh, as he passes, just takes a finger full of blood and just... Hmm? Oh, wh which I forgot, you also can see a pile of puke not too far from where Baby Doll is. Hmm. Heal her up. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Wound head, move it. What? I, I, I don't know how to fix people. I'm not a sawbones. What do you want from me? Iris! <laughs> Iris runs into the room. Heal her up. <laughs> he looks at um, Shivers. Go get Dave. Alright, alright. He uh, steps outside the room and makes a quick call. She points Iris to some pillowcases and goes, if you could tear those up, I can bandage myself. And hot water, so please. Iris grabs a knife and starts ripping up the pillowcases uh, into bandages. Will you be kind to explain me, dear, why you were here and how the fuck this happened? I was doing rounds on my free time. 
I saw some of what I thought was abandoned cars and decided to have a nice fire. He came up presenting himself as a potential customer. I went with him, even though you said I don't have to live that way anymore. I wanted a little extra money. And a whole giant shitstorm came up, leading to me be, being called a blue-blooded whore and slammed around a bit. Okay. She, go, she looks okay. around and she goes, is my little bitch Two-Face even here? He will be Ring. coming. Ring. Hey, yo, what's the problem, uh, Mr. Shivers? Hey, David. Yo, hit us up at the wine crust. You got like five oh, minutes. Okay. Oh, just oh, pissed. Oh, Hurry oh, up. Oh, yeah, get here, get here yesterday. At, at this point, she looks at the new face and she goes, Is he family? Pointing at Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Yes, he's my cousin who so kindly prevented me yesterday, well, early tonight, to kill this guy. She, she, she points at the bed and she goes, I promise I will never do that to you, Elder. <laughs> oh, I'm not very afraid of that. that That's his sire, from what he ranted about. Something about tired of playing human, and uh, it kind of blurred after that. Cesare looks, uh, leans over the body, and Iris can see Cesare's fangs starting to protuberate from his mouth. Iris comes back with the bandages and uh, a container of hot water for baby doll and it's <coughs> over and she just puts her hands on Cesare's shoulder and just gently starts rubbing them. He hearing the car the insane driving car pull up, baby doll's kind of blurred vision glaring at the door. Yeah, yeah, you all uh, ranked for me, um, Cesare will, yes. will put his I came here, Mr. Bodger. What, what, what's the what, what the fuck happened in here? He points to Baby though. <sighs> I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Don't worry. I'm on it. He turns back, look at Fitzpatrick and Iris, a little bit um, calmer, so to speak. She's I've, the whole uh, family. I've never seen that uh, that guy in the city before. Have either of you? The guy in the bed? No, I haven't. From how he made it sound when he was ranting, he came into town looking for his abandoned child to s shelter and protect him from someone hunting him. Not oh, goody. thinking correctly, the child decided years of Torment and abandonment were perfect for revenge this evening. Out my head. Um, Cesare goes to baby doll, sit her on the bed straight. He just plunge a nail into uh, Cesare's own nail into his own veins, opens a wound and put his wrist on baby doll's mouth. She, she maintains some composure and takes his arm and starts cleaning and sucking it clean. Well, licking and sucking it clean. No. Well, she, she's looking at Fitzpatrick curiously, sizing him up on value. Uh, it seems to be a bit too late. Uh, we're going to have to find this guy. We are going to find him. We just need time. But first... And he removes his hand from Baby Doll and kisses her in the forehead and shoves her into two face arms. Arms, sorry. He grabs the, the torpor vampire and he puts him on his shoulder. I'm taking this. Iris. You want a hand with that there, boss? Yeah. And he throws. The torpor vampire onto Mr. Shears. Iris um, sizes up Chesare, trying to figure out if he's still in 
on the edge of lose, completely losing his temper or if he's gotten his composure back? Um, he's a little bit better. He's not quite there yet, but he's a little bit better. Okay. Um, so she's going to roll... Or she's going to spend a, spend a blood point and roll uh, charisma plus performance to try and use awe on him. At this point, Baby Doll's looking at the new face and she goes, I'm Baby Doll. Nice to meet you, Ken. Uh, yes, nice to meet you. Did Ken, who was attacking you here, did he uh, mention the name of this kindred? If he did, I wasn't paying too much attention, seeing how he was trying to talk about the Ventru. My answer was, I know nothing, I will say nothing. At this point, you also notice she has a Ventru charm necklace she had specially made with their symbol that's now blood splatter stains on it. Okay, that's three I did hurt him, though, before I passed out. Iris goes back to rubbing Chesser's shoulders and just softly whispers into his ear, Stay calm. Stay calm. The person yes. who hurt her isn't here. We'll find him. Stay calm. Stay calm. Uh, he, he starts to compel, falling to all. He won't even fight. He knows he's always used, he's being used on him because... Um, Iris tried to warn him on the past, but he just doesn't fight it. He let this, him go. Yeah, at this point, go. Baby Doll kind of does her normal playful spawn. She goes, I see you're taking my advice, Iris. Why don't we get out of here? This place reeks of old streets and hobos. Hey, yeah, my boss, you mean to uh, burn down the place before we leave? No. No. Okay, okay. Just hey. let it ask. Hey, boss. Yes, oh. Shivers. That old gent on the way in knew your name. I think we should, uh, you know, redecorate. Ah, oh. he's right. Add a character. He only knew the name because Dorian said, "Give this to a Mr. Borgia, whose name is on this." He'll be asking around. He's just a normal mortal guy who runs the hotel. That's it. What are you boss? Uh, what should we do with him, Iris? Uh, what kind of yep. hotel is this? Is this like a rundown place, or is this a... This is like a little cheapy motel. Ah, an Econo Lodge. Yes. What should we do with the mortal downstairs? You wait till we take him out, boss? <sighs> Leave him. Okay, okay. Uh, I, only take, I only take orders from the boss there, miss. What do you reckon, boss? Do you want to leave a lead like that open? They are right, Iris. He knows my name, and he suddenly fell asleep after seeing me. We can fix his memories if we wake him back up. Why don't we do that? Oh. Yeah. David. Yes. Uh, at this point, Baby the Girl is David. a little pissed off that she got captured, let alone tortured, and she goes, I, I could cleanse his body for you, boss, if Two Face is willing to help me. Uh, oh, he grabs. Last time you clean someone, it wasn't pretty. He grabs Baby Doll and he just pull her and sit her on his shoulder. Uh, he's yes, he's starting to feel overprotective in this point. Uh, you be a good girl now. He brings out his lighter. He opens it. Now, be a good girl, and he gives the lighter to Baby Doll. Okay, do you ever like laying over your shoulder or just like sitting like a kid would oh, on your shoulder? Sitting like a kid. Okay. Smiling, I'm she kind of looks at the fire. And she she kind of grins and she goes, to the office then. Or shall we burn, just burn this room? Uh, no. I have other plans in mind. You know, I always wanted to know how a Ravnos tastes. And he walks out the door of the room. 
And and uh, Mr. Shivers just dabs his his head in the blood coming from the siren. Just. Hmm. Is he eating blood from Silas? Blood from baby doll on the floor, or the blood from where she tore a chunk of uh, Dorian's neck out? From, from where the light bulbs are embedded in Silas. Ah. Lovely. Um, uh, Iris, uh, who's going to be dealing with the uh, the guy out there? Uh, the uh, the old man there? Can, I don't know if Chess is raising the uh, can proper you mindset. That? Yeah, I can. Hey, Dave. Take Dave. care of it. Yeah, yeah, what's hey, up? Dave. Yeah, yeah. You can take the guy, right? Unless you want to grab this from me and I'll take care of the man. Oh, I'll take care of the guy. I'll, I'll go now. Sweet. Cesare pass um, by Dave's side. Put that lump, and he points to Silas' body, into my tr trunk. Okay, okay. You got it, boss. He goes outside, put baby doll on the ground, and wait for the rest of the family to gather up on the car. Am I taking care of, am I taking care of the old man? Uh, I'll, deal uh, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. No, 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 no. Cousin Fitzpatrick will take care of him. Don't worry. Ah. I just got my favorite Thompson out of the black car. You, you, my, my, my beloved ghouls. You, my beloved ghouls, are going to do something for me. What are we doing, boss? Okay, you are going to find a fucker known as Dorian Fritzberg. Yes? How the fuck are we supposed to find him, boss? He got a name, got a name description of him? Baby doll knows how he looks like. Okay. I know what he tastes like. I know what he looks like. Now, you are going to give him a message for me. And you might stab or shot him anything you want. I won't load up the Thompson. And Mr. Shivers, yes, hot sauce. He takes a small bottle of hot sauce, uncorks it, and just takes a sip. Fantastic. Good. You are going to say this to him. I'm taking his prize. Okay. Good. Now scram. I need to talk to the family. I've got one, boss. At this point, Baby Doll looks at Borgia before she makes a move towards the other two to make sure she's got full permission to leave. She looks at Baby Doll. You, stay a moment. She nods. I'll catch up with you guys. He goes near baby doll. Never, ever again put yourself in such tight spot, okay? She nods. She goes, next time I want to work rounds, I'll take Two-Face. Okay. He grabs her by the chin, kiss her. But a very sweet, sweet kiss, something like a mafia boss shouldn't do or you wouldn't expect from Cesare. And he goes, no, scrum. Go, go create some mayhem. Standing up, she kind of gets a little wobbly, dusts herself off, takes a deep breath, and she goes, I need water first, and walks off. Before winking and waving to Edward as she leaves. Now Cesare is waiting for uh, Fitzpatrick and Iris on the car. Um, I, um, over. I'm going to need to separate from you guys anyway, I, uh, Fitzpatrick says. Um, I'll stay here and deal with the guy so we ensure that he doesn't remember anything. You guys can head back home. Good. Thank you, Cassin. I owe you one. Mm -hmm. Well, two. <laughs> Um, are we going to have to talk to the other Ravnos, or what are we going to do here? Probably yes, but I will handle that yeah. after catching Fitzberg. Think you're going to be able to find him easy enough? They will talk we... to me. Yes, they will talk to Iris. They think I owe them something. Well, I'm going to head back into the uh, 
hotel, and I'll deal with the old man. We can uh, I'll talk to you guys sometime later. Good. Good luck, cousin. <coughs> uh, Chesser looked at Iris. And he looks at the trunk, since they are the two of them alone. You know that this... And he bumped, um, he punched the trunk. Will get me one step closer to Kane. No. He turns around. Why no? Chesare, uh, it is... It's forbidden. It <sighs> is forbidden my mother will kill you. Well, your mother doesn't need to know. No, no, no. This is my prize, Iris, and I'm taking it. No, no, don't, don't do this. Iris, 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 dear Iris, 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 Iris. They, he. A, a lower clans come a gypsy scan take my go torture my go and I save her too late so kill him torture him He's I'm still too weak it. Iris you don't understand that you are closer to Cain than me you are not so weak that you couldn't torture someone from the low clans. Don't talk about yourself like that. You know, desperate measures, desperate times call for desperate measures. No, Cesare, no. Please. Please. Ah. If you love me, please don't do this. I love you. I love you, darling. You know that. But, and he grabs her and he brings out his cellular phone and shows her the text she sent when the whites came into the black orchid. I almost lose you two tonight. Iris looks at the phone and she grabs. Chesare's wrist very tightly. Her nails are almost digging into it. Please. Please don't do this. Please. Please don't do this, Chesare. It's just an evil nobody needs to know. Only someone, only someone who can see has to find out. Only someone who can see has to find out, and that's it. Okay. Okay, yes, you're right. You're right, that could be problematic. And he pops the trunk and see the, the torpored Ravnos. Now... If Mr. Fitzberg would do the same, he would be in trouble, right? Yes, he would. He would. Uh, he his life the, would be forfeit. He grabs the handle from his... Uh, the, the thing he has on his coat. He pulls and it's a sword. Now, what's the penalty for killing a king here? He turns around. Now, did anybody else see Mr. Fitzberg with this little thing? And he points his head towards Silas in his room. Only baby doll, I think. Only her, yes. You catch my drift, right? I do. And he grabs Silas' body and set him straight and points um, measures with his sword. Now, should we send a message? Yes, we should. Good to know. He 
release the body, and in a swift motion, he takes the handle of the sword with both hands, and <laughs> Silas' body becomes a, a pile of ashes in an instant. And yes, Ulrich, I need to roll my humanity for that, even though I have humanity 5 already. Uh, da, 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 that were 5 d10s, right? Uh, mm. Give me just a second. Conscience okay. d10. Oh, oh. Uh, Conscience, my conscience. I have two consciences. And I pass. Amazing. <laughs> Voya for the win. <sighs> Good. Totally amazing. Yes. Yes, I know I feel horribly ill rag. Thank you, Kate. Pulls the sword back. He turns around to Iris. That's. I. I could have been a. A step closer to Kane, Iris. One step closer. Iris puts an arm around Chesare's shoulders and pulls him close. There are other ways. Mm, I know that. And other he ways brings... to become stronger. Other ways to become more powerful. He brings out his lighter. And even his lighter won't start up tonight, so he's really pissed off. I I couldn't protect anyone, Iris. I couldn't protect the clan back in Italy. I could not protect Baby Doll. I could not protect you. What I'm good for, Iris. What do you mean you couldn't protect me? I should have been there while the whites were there with you. Why? Do do I need babysitting he 24 hours a day? No, you're a grown-up woman. But... Uh, you know I love you, and I could not afford to lose you. Ulrich was there with me, just like you asked. Someone was with me, and everything was fine. Now, and he looks at the... He looks at the... Um, pile of ashes. How should we roll with this? I... I have the letter. And... She... pulls a piece of tissue from her handbag and carefully wraps the letter the, the note in it so that she doesn't touch it. Give this to Mr. Stanshope or Lotharius or both. He grabs his, um, he looks into his pockets, he brings out his leather gloves, grabs very carefully the note, folds it back on the, his po coat pocket. And with this, <laughs> and he looks at the ashes of Silas. Present both of these things to them. They wouldn't ask an Ospex user. 
someone can look through the memories of this pile of garbage. Uh, I'm not that familiar with it myself. Then he closed the the trunk. He stabs the with his sword the um, the ga the gas the, the tank. He pokes a hole in it, and the gasoline start pouring out. Now. You should go and fetch Fitzpatrick. Iris runs um, into hey. the building. Make the old man remember Mr. Dorian. Call Baby Doll. Ask for characteristics. Iris runs into the building to get Mr. Fitzpatrick. Uh, you see Mr. Fitzpatrick uh, with Obviously, his mask off, standing over um, the old man who's sitting down in the chair. She puts a hand on his shoulder. Have you done it yet? Um, yes, he's... Uh, he's remembered that what next day he said. Good. Um, is there anything you needed? Just wanted to make sure you were finished. Okay. We need to go. I um, think there's about to be a car fire. <laughs> okay. Cesare is standing outside, waiting for the two of them to come. Iris exits the building with Mr. Fitzpatrick. Looks like you're uh, <laughs> destroying something, Cesare. Uh, I might done a couple of things tonight. Uh, the old guy is oh, the old guy is um, taken care of. Yes, he's uh, remembered how nice of a day he's had tonight. Uh, how nice of a night he's had. Good. We can leave some information of Mr. Fitzberg here, and he was with someone else. Okay. Iris knows the shuffle of this. But I recommend get away a few steps. Iris very quickly backs away about a hundred feet. Cesare starts walking backwards, gives the his back to the car and just chucks the lighter. The lighter um, lands Fitzpatrick, near the... Um, just starts walking away uh, with his face away from the fire where it's going to be. The lighter um, gets near the gasoline but not just enough to ignite it. And as Chesser is walking away, the, gar the gasoline is still pour pouring, and he looks at Fitzpatrick and Iris. Now, if you fuck with Aboja, you fuck with all of them. Then the car explodes, erasing the latest evidence of the existence of the Ravnos sire taking away the ashes and everything that could be used for well something and he turns around go to Iris and now he says now we're going to hunt Miss Fitzberg I have an idea where to find him. I will take one arm out of him and one leg. I will present one to the Ravnos with a note that says you need to keep 
a tighter grab in yours. And the other one I will keep for myself. And finally I'm going to give the rest of them to Sheriff Deep. Because I will uphold the law. Of course you will. I would always. You are a venture after all. Mm, indeed. And he starts walking away uh, to nowhere, to everywhere. He really doesn't know. And the Iris. scene continues. Iris looks to the car fire and uh, very quickly takes off after Cesare. And the scene ends.